Oh, and yellow. That's a hard color to pull off. We're doing well. The sun's coming out in New York. I hope you SPF'd, right? Did you? Beauty is a gift. I read that somewhere. Hey, this would not be possible today. And thank you all for coming out again. This would not be possible without the help of so many sponsors. We want to thank some of our gold sponsors. Bud Light. Feel free to clap. Bud Light. Sky. MasterCard. Keels and Delta. I, I flew Delta out here. I used Keels this morning. And I'm going to buy a little Sky and Bud Light with my MasterCard. Little later today. So you can buy me one if you want. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like having a built-in fan right here. That's nice, right? It's hot. Okay, um, I'm going to introduce our next uh, speaker, and then I'll tell you something else in just a second. But first, Rachel B. Tibbins is the Executive Director of Immigration Equality, a national organization fighting fighting for equal immigration rights for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and HIV-positive community. You can visit immigrationequality.org for free, listen, free legal help and action alerts. Please welcome Rachel Tibbins. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Happy Pride, everybody. I'm really excited to be here with my family. I'm here with my kids and my mom. And lots of other people from my family. It's really great to be here. How many people are watching what's going on in Albany right now? How many people are watching and waiting to see when we are going to have marriage equality in New York State? That's awesome. How many people are participating? Participating to make sure that we have marriage equality in New York State. How many people called your state senator this week? Let me see your hands. All right. How many people are going to call your state senator as soon as I'm done talking? Thank you. How many people, I have a tougher question. How many people talk to somebody in your life that's totally supportive of you? Right? Totally thinks everybody should be able to marry whoever they want and ask that person to call. Thank you. That's what we have to do. That is what we have to do. Our, our, our opponent here is people who are not picking up the phone. Not people who disagree, people who aren't doing anything. And Every one of us can participate in this because our children and our grandchildren and our godchildren and our nieces and nephews will say to us, will say to us, what did you do in the gay rights movement? What did you do? And we want to be able to say that we participated, that we called, that we marched, that we were part of it. And the window of opportunity is closing because soon we're going to win this thing and it'll be too late to call. So call your state senator, call Dean Skelos' office and tell him to bring it to the floor for a vote because we can win. But there will still be work to do once that is over because even after we win marriage equality in New York State, we will still not have full equal rights. We will still not be able to keep our families together in this country because the federal government is still not recognizing our families and is still not giving us immigration rights, social security, equal taxation, and all of the things that we need to be truly equal. Families call Immigration Equality's office every day, crying and asking us, when will this discrimination be over? When will this be fixed? When can I keep my family together and not face separation just because we are an LGBT family? So we are not done yet, but we will be done soon, and we will be done sooner if everybody here takes out your device goes to prideagenda.org and calls your state senator. And if you're thinking, nah, my call doesn't make that much of a difference, there's the number right up there on the pink sign. That my, num my call doesn't make that much of a difference. You know what? This week in Albany, we've been one vote short. So one person absolutely makes a difference. You've got to call, you've got to be part of this and think how great it will feel when we win and you know you helped win it. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy Pride. Thank you so much. Rachel Tiven, everyone. Rachel Tiven, and I'm so stupid. I forgot to think, I think the most 
important sponsor here today, I think we all can agree, it's Lipstick Lesbian Ice Cream. <laughs> Remember that of you heard earlier? Again, one more time. Lipstick Lesbian Ice Cream. That's my favorite. Sounds delicious. Okay, nominated as one of the 50 funniest lesbians in America. I was 51. Uh, Christine's off the cup storytelling will make you laugh until you tinkle. Activist in the LGBT community and on the board of directors for True Colors Inc. She's toured P Town with Margaret Cho. Just back from Key West Pride, headlining Women's Fest 2011 at Pearls and at Maine Comedy Festival August 5th through 7th. Please, please put your hands together for my co host, Christine O'Leary. Come on out here and looking good, too. the show, I have a little fetish with interpreters. I like to make them say dirty things. <laughs> or just fun things like lipstick, lesbian, ice cream. <laughs> Which will definitely be what I tweet about later. <laughs> so my name is Christina O'Leary and I stand before you today having lost one hundred and seven Keep clapping, I'm starting! I am so hungry, I have been chewing this gum since yesterday in the Sawmill Parkway. I'm so hungry. But I've just figured it out. I'm in the perfect body at the perfect time and I can have whatever I want. I know. So, um, great news, I'm a lesbian. Woo! Surprise, we're pretty now. <laughs> There's been a revolution, folks. You can be blonde, wear lipstick, and shave. Can I get an amen? Yeah! Yeah! I'm so excited about that. I really am, because back in the day, if you wanted to be a lesbian, it meant all these kinds of things. Like you had to get the freedom ring. And you had to go get the Toyota 4Runner. And you had to get the Birkenstocks. You know, and, and you had to, like, be a vegan. I didn't even know why I wasn't eating what I wasn't eating. But apparently I was eating everything. I swear to God I gained 170 pounds, 17 pounds eating soy cheese. I know I did. Because it was vegan, and then I couldn't have honey, and there's all these rules, you know? And then you had to, if you were a lesbian back in the day, you had to go to every Indigo Girls concert. I mean, maybe every other, but every, seriously. It was a bit much. But it is incredible. You can be anything you want to be now. And I knew I was a lesbian when I was 12 years old. I know, but I was smart enough not to come out to my parents. Oh, yes, it was true. I had the two twin beds moved together. I had the sleepovers. It was incredible. My brother in Boston, he wasn't allowed to hold his girlfriend's hand, and I was sleeping with mine. It was awesome. It was fantastic. Now, stereotypes are only a way to organize information. Let's say that again, because we're a little sunstroke here in the heat. <laughs> Stereotypes are only a way to organize information, so I figured it all out. There's three types of lesbians in the world. Okay, are you with me? The first type of lesbian is me. I am a lipstick lesbian. Where are my lipstick sisters? Yes, hello! The second type of lesbian is a chapstick lesbian. <laughs> That would be you. <laughs> and then there's the third type of lesbian, those really, really, really butch women that won't put that phallic thing up to their lips. Yeah, those are the Blistex lesbians. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Now, it used to be there was only one type of gay man. Where are my gay boys? Give me a Ricola! <laughs> That's right. Now, it used to be that gay men were only one type of person. Floral designers, hairdressers, right? Wedding event planners and bartenders and little shop boys doing cocktails and gay, 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 gay. gay. Right? But now there's a new type of gay boy on the scene, folks. That's right, they are the bears. Where are my bears? Woo! Now, for those of you who don't know the two straight guys, what bears are, it's incredible, what bears are, are gay men that eat. Gay men are eating now, it's a miracle! They're eating! It's awesome, and they're so less bitchy now that you're eating. It's good. I say gay men, have your baked potato and screw it. You love toast then, you love toast now. <laughs> it's true. And, and the thing about it now, you'll know a bear, sometimes they'll have a little bit of facial hair, they have the cargo pants, and they have like the Life is Good shirt and the baseball hat and the Tevas. And I just want to say to you bears, back up, because the lesbians had that look first, okay? <laughs> We did, it's true. And gay men, gay men, you guys are unbelievable. Where are my lesbians again? Lesbians, give me a hell yeah. All right, lesbians, let me tell you what. I don't know if this is, I hail from Maine, and I live in New York City. I do live here in the city. Uh, what part of the city? Connecticut. But anyway, I worked hard for my 917 area code, though, girl. <laughs> But here's the thing, gay men, where are you again, Ricola? <laughs> that was sort of lame. I said gay men, Ricola! <laughs> okay, these gay men look around. As they get older, they get hotter and hotter and hotter. They start putting shit in their hair and they start bleaching their teeth and anything else they can get the Clorox to. They're wearing the $100 and $50 jeans and the $80 shirt. They're getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Do you know what happens for the lesbians in Maine that I hang out with when we get older? We get hairier and more crippled. Marge, bring the Subaru around. My back is killing me. Did you give the cat the diabetes shot? I'm so hot. I'm so hot. We're lesbians. We're hot. Are we hot, sisters? We're so hot. We're just hot. Your partner's all like, honey, let's have sex tonight. It's my birthday. I'm too hot. I'm just hot. If you'd leave me alone, you wouldn't touch me if you loved me. I'm hot. And these gay men, right, tell the truth, Red Bull. This is the elixir of their fabulousness. They crack a can of that bull and it's like... <laughs> gonna get laid, gonna get laid. <laughs> they love this stuff. Do you know what is the... Oh, I'm so hot. Is anyone else hot? But you look fabulous. Isn't it fun to be gay and here at New York City Pride?